Hi, I'd like to talk about some OFTMA impacts coming up in um, so-called Wi-Fi 7, IEEE 802.11BE, which is uh, still being standardized. And this is uh, from the continuing comments of OFTMA in uh, 802.11AX slash Wi-Fi 6, where I have uh, videos talking about some aspects which have not maybe helped it achieve its potential. My name is Srikant and I'm with NanoCell Networks. So the important point I'm going to be talking about today is about some ability to handle the resource units in the OFTMA implementation in Wi-Fi. Specifically, 802.11ax or Wi-Fi 6 allowed us to break a bandwidth, in this case an example of an 80 megahertz bandwidth, into RUs and the scheduler, which is the access point, is able to break it up in a variety of ways according to its own proprietary reading of the scenario. But one of the constraints is that for a particular PPDU, we have only one RU allocation for a user. So let's say, for example, if I gave the user this particular RU, there are no other RUs in this PPDU that can be given for that user. What's the big deal about it? So in my earlier videos, I've talked about the challenges for the AP with respect to scheduling. And one of the challenges is that the AP has to decide a particular RU split based on some heuristics. And this might not exactly match, you might say the requirement in hand with this constraint of just one RU per user, okay? So what does 11BE or Wi-Fi 7 do about this? In 11BE, we now allow a lot more flexibility in the scheduling by giving the AP the flexibility to assign more than one RU in the same PPDU. So how could that help? That might be a valid question. Let's take some simple scenarios which have been discussed in the contributions for the standards. So we'll take the simplest case where, you know, the bandwidth is divided into these RUs. And if you have two users for whom data has to be sent in parallel, now you would, you know, give one user this, possibly another user this, and this will invariably get wasted. How if we can combine these two as well for a user, okay? So that's a very simple scenario. Think a little bit more elaborate. Let's say you have a bandwidth breakup like this and you have two users data. Obviously you're going to have wastage here and wastage there. Assuming, let's say you gave this to user one and user two, you gave this, you could just add this to user two. One might argue, why did we not go for the optimum allocation given this scenario? Remember that the optimum allocation is not always something that the AP will choose to handle because we have plenty of combinations, which I have discussed in earlier videos, and it will make it very tough for us to be always having all kinds of possibilities under consideration. So in that sense, this kind of this multi-RU facility, as we call MRU, where we can potentially give more than one RU to a particular user becomes very interesting, okay? Not only from the perspective of, you might say, uh, using the spectrum effectively, but also, you know, in the sense that you don't have to consider all options and have a, a very elaborate mechanism for scheduling. An example, which is there in one of the contributions presented 11B, shows how in an 80 megahertz, if we have a 20 meg, uh, say a DFS hit, we could avoid this by puncturing it, and we could use the rest of the RUs flexibly for combining for a particular user according to some rules and conditions that the standard proposes to come up with.
okay remember that this is also valid for the single user transmission in 11b all in all this gives us flexibility which is one of the things probably which pull back the OFTMA in Wi-Fi 6 or 11ax we hope 11be will do much better on that front with features like MRU so for more information please take a look at our website we also have courses through Wi-Fi Now Academy so we hope you benefited from this and you'll be able to join for some of the courses. Thank you.